Okay guys, Jace here again, back in the park, as I usually am at the weekends. Uh, this is my, uh, this is probably my 20 or 30th video I've shot of my Harbu here. But this one I'm going to do with a bit of commentary and I'm going to entitle it Park Zone at its best. Now, before I go any further, I want to just mention a few things that I've said in the past when I'm flying other planes and other videos that I've made, things I've written. I have written that the Hobby King Sport Jet 70 is a good alternative to a Park Zone Haboom. It absolutely is. And I've also got a Dynam Meteor and uh, you know I've said before that that's another good substitute but the truth is that as much as they're a good alternative and substitute they are not a genuine Habu they really do not have uh, whatever technology Park Zone put into these Habus the other models as much as they might look very very similar and with the Meteor it's almost a clone they don't fly the same way a Park Zone Habu does. And the Habu is expensive compared to the others and there's a reason for that. And that's because it's better. It's just better. Now this one, I don't have my original um, EDF unit in there. It's got this original motor um, and it has the Delta V fan, but it doesn't have the actual uh, well, it has the fan unit, but it doesn't have the actual fan. It actually has a templated Chansung fan. Um, and the only reason for that was I was doing an experiment. I wanted to see what the performance differences would be like. Now, it is quite a bit faster. This does do about 110 miles an hour, whereas the standard Habu does about 80. Uh, so it is quite a bit quicker. It does put more of a drain on the battery, mind you. Flights are only about three, three and a half minutes on the standard 3300. I do have some 3760Cs and they uh, they give you about another minute or so but you know i fly my sport gen i can fly very well i fly the meteor and i can fly that pretty well and you know i fly my habu and i've got two habus i've got this one which was a bind and fly just changed the fan nothing else the other one was a plug and play unit um, actually it was just just a, an airframe unit and i've got in there an aluminium 12 blade fan running on a 5 and 6s but that actually doesn't run um, as quick as this one does. This one really, really suited that 10 blade Chansung fan on the original 3200 kVE flight motor. Anyway, I'll stop talking for a little while, um, just until I get her in the air, and then I'll talk a bit more once she's in the air. Plenty of power, short rotation. Do have a magpie at the moment believing that it can chase down a habu but not this one it won't now i'm going to back the power off so i get a good few minutes of flight out of it here it comes on about one half power i have used a telemetry speed checker in this spectrum telemetry system and i've also used the hobby king speed doppler and they're very close to each other only with a couple of miles an hour of each other and it, it breaks about 110 to 115 miles an hour depending on on what the wind is doing and uh, if there's any kind of wind shear and what the heat is, is of the day but this is an awesome plane to fly i'm putting a bit of distance between me and the plane at the moment just because of that magpie but i'm going to bring it by now for a bit of aerobatics first thing i'll do is i'll bring it in for a low level inverted pass Now, I'm only applying a very small amount of down elevator as I roll through the, the turn there, inverted. Um, and that's just because the battery in this is quite a big battery. And, uh, you know, it's a 4S. And although it's designed for it and the CEG is right, I just give it that little bit of down elevator just to give myself the confidence uh, that it's not going to hit the ground. There's another slowish pass there. That's only on about one third power, just cruising around. I just want to do a few aerobatics um, before the battery runs out. Now I'll do a low level, high speed flyby. Now 
Now if you want to get a Hobby King speed checker on that, uh, the Doppler, that will pick that up off the video and it'll give you an idea of what speed it's doing. This does awesome loops. Go up into a beautiful big loop. Oh, it's come off the power at the bottom of the loop there. And she flies in a tremendous straight line there. That was going into the wind. This is with the wind behind it. I'll come in low with a bit of power off just to glide by. With the wind pushing her, absolutely no problem. Now what I'll do is I'll come by again from that same direction. Just do a few little aileron rolls. Um, and what I'll do is I'll I'll demonstrate a vertical performance. For an EDF, it's very, very impressive. And it goes up. Oh. Battery is out. So that's sapped quite a bit of life out of that battery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to land it. Well, I've been going for over three minutes. That's quite long for, for a Habu flight on a standard battery. E-Flight battery is designed to cut power along with its ESC to stop you from losing complete control. And I'll land it on its belly. There we go. Uh, I just got to watch out for the magpie while I go and retrieve it. Now if I'd have had the 3700 in there, I'd have been able to fly that for about another minute and do quite a few more aerobatics with it. But as you can see, it's, it's very nimble. And I'm going to be putting another video on at the end of this one, if you'd like to sit and watch it. I'm not talking on it, but I fly it in sort of close proximity to myself. Um, I fly it on about half power and I keep it within the confines of the park for quite a lot of the flight. Uh, I do quite a few inverted passes do some close to me loops, aileron rolls, four point rolls and um, you know that the, the park zone Habu it's, it's just in the class of its own and for anybody out there who does have you know tremendous respect for a model such as the Dynam Meteor and the Hobby King Sport Jet you know so do I I do have a tremendous amount of respect, respect for them because they are cheaper you know, at the end of the day from the park zone habu but as i said they are not a habu do not mistake that they look like a habu um, that they perform like it because they don't and if you fly a sport jet or a meteor and then you go and fly a habu you'll notice that they're just worlds and worlds and worlds apart anyway guys thanks for watching um, and I hope you stick around and watch the other video tacked on to the end of this and I'll see you uh, on the next one.